Hi guys, welcome back. I am Stu and this is Build Your Own Six Flags Belgium for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. Build your own version of this European Six Flags Park to have at least 3,500 guests in your park at the end of October, year five, with a park rating of at least 600. So a very long scenario then, five years. You don't normally see anything that long. You, usually the scenarios are about three years. You get the odd four year scenario, but five years is a long long time so it's it's basically the same as the one we've already played except there's no rides so they've left the pathing in which was the worst thing about the parks worst thing about all of the six flags parks to be honest um, because the the guest ai and the staff ai is not good enough to be able to be able to handle complex path in like this so what i was doing whilst i was playing the normal ones is i was fighting fires to be honest every now and then you'd have a, a an outbreak of guests getting lost or stuck so i think what i'll probably do is i'll get rid of the path in fairly early on um no entry sign parts of the path so they can't go down there and then i'll focus on the start but um let's see what we got to begin with then 30 so i like to raise this up to 40 it's always a good amount the guests might not pay it to begin with but as soon as you put down a certain amount of rides they will um what have we got we've got transport rides we've got loads of gentle rides i mean plenty there loads of coasters loads of thrill rides loads of water rides tons of shops it's more than we're probably going to use so we don't really need anything more but um to be honest i'll leave research on uh, we could probably get by without anything but um, i'll leave it on what i will do though is i'll untick scenery and theming i'm not bothered about that um, and we've got plenty of everything else to get started with so i don't need to target any specific category i think then what i'll do is i'll get rid of some of this power then so i'll no entry sign here say here and here um and there's the and over here as well i'll rejig the entry plaza put down some kiosks atm some shops maybe maybe some seating areas or, or something like that as well and then this is a nice area here the beginning of the park to build like a nice small park um focus on things like flat rides that sort of thing just to get the guests coming through the gate start taking their money and then what we can do is then we can start expanding down down the lake i'd like to build around the lake but um simplify the path in as i do so and um and just see where we go from there i mean maybe we can try and do something something interesting i mean maybe here we can do something here i probably won't put a river rapids there because the river rapids that was there wasn't very good but maybe i can do something else in that spot but um yeah i'm gonna crack on and i'll see you in a bit it is may year one we've got just under 300 guests in the park or a nice plaza here a few shops got my flat rides here nice seating areas as well so what I'll do is I'll I'll start working down this way. I'll delete some of the paths already. Start working down this way. I've already decided I'm going to put a go-kart track in here. I think that'll look pretty cool. Um, yeah, not really having any issues. Money-wise, doing all right. Coming up to 6,000 on entrance tickets shop sales aren't very good but that will improve as and when we start putting down some coasters and what i'll do is i'll do that shop trick i've been doing lately where all the exits lead to a, a long row of shops um and yeah we can uh, make some big money that way so i'm gonna crack on with the building i'll see you soon it is october year one we've got almost a thousand guests in the park scenario once three and a half thousand so we're well on track to doing that we've got five years so we've got plenty of time so i've built a few more flat rides just here i've got a 
go-kart track built in the in the area where there was a river rapids originally on the original scenario not bad excitement for that and then just here then I've got my first two coasters so got the shops there so what I'll do is as I'm building down then I'll have all the paths leading down to this exit so they all have to go past those shops and that'll really help drive up the sales and um, so I've got my my favoured 4x4 paving system all the way down here so what I'll do is all the rides are going to be four wide and they're all going to be in line with these so that'll make it really easy then to zone to zone the workers um, when I come down to here I'll, prob I'll just probably do something similar across there and down this side um, up here though I don't know I might do something a bit more interesting with with these sort of lakes and ponds up here I might do something similar to what we did in, on Panda World where we use the sort of dirt paths to go around the lakes I'm, I'm not sure yet but um, we'll have to uh, we'll have to see what happens when we get there but um, oh hello yeah bit of an issue there with the with the guests they're, they're trying to this is this is just cropped up now as I've built the coasters because I've built the coaster over here so now all the guests are trying to get over there um, so they're trying to head in a straight line so their immediate thought is to come up this way so they want to come up this way and then go straight along here but they can't so that's why they're getting lost or stuck so my rating taking a bit of a dip earlier on um, starting to go down now so I'll fix that as well and then we can carry on building the rest of the coasters it is October year 2 1800 guests in the park so we've got half of what we need money wise doing good so park entrance tickets good shop sales doing a lot better so 3400 for the shop sales and then an extra 1100 then for food and drink so we've got all these coasters now and then all the exits lead I need to sort out some handymen on that one all the exits lead down down here past all these shops so there's an ATM as well so if they need the money they can get some extra out and then they have to all come past the merchandise stalls and they've got some one-way signs no entry signs to force them in one direction and then just here then I've got a load of extra shops connected connected up and I've got the path then leading all the way down got a couple of little bridges something I don't know I figure that's probably the sort of thing they'd have in Belgium they like a funky bridge or they like funky uh, buildings and things like that um, and a nice bridge as well just across there's something we did in the first Six Flags Belgium Park uh, it just helps the guests find their way a little easier and um, yeah just up here then I've got a nice log flume so it's a Mobius design I've built it in such a way that it could be mirrored um, you've already got the extra station to synchronize it so you don't you're not going to get an extra bonus for the for mirroring it, mirroring it with another one but um, I suppose you might get a little bonus for having an extra ride next to it but um, it's good stats not bad making some um, we would be making some decent money if it was in a pay ride park but you know we can get some extra money for the for the on ride sales on ride photo sales and even though even the guests that go down the track without the photo section they can still buy a photo as well it's one of those little quirks of roller coaster tycoon so make the most of it um i do like building mobius rides because one of the reasons why is you can make more money off them um plus they look cool and another big reason is they you can share the stats so with some rides you need a certain you need certain criteria you need like a certain amount of drops or a certain drop height or a certain amount of of this that and the other so with a mobius coaster effectively you've got two rides but you only need to have half as many drops so um yes yeah, so that's one of the one of the reasons why i like I like building them pretty cool 
so yeah um i think in the first one we had a nice splash boats at the back i think that's something i'm probably going to do as well um because they've got good capacity on them and and they do look cool um they help bring a lot of guests into the park but other than that to be honest i'm uh, i'm reasonably happy with the way it's turning out uh, i think we've got so much space i don't know how we're going to fill it all um because i know it's a five-year scenario but it's amazing how much time goes by how quickly it goes by when you're when you're plodding away and building and and redoing the paths and things like that but um i'm gonna crack on and i'll see you soon it is october year three we've got 2600 guests in the park so less than a thousand guests to go then we've got two years to do it in so we'll be fine got a splash boat here denant drops decent excitement on that so i've gone with naming the decent rides after after places so we've got denant drops we've got flanders flumes didn't do the names of these so we've got zebrugger follow these stand-ups the corkscrew we've got stend um baston for the junior coaster and namir for the wild mouse my pronunciation might not be that good little uh using these lakes i've done some i've got the the boring paths running up the side just up there and then up here then we've got some funky paths just to break it up a little i wanted to go around these lakes and then maybe add some water rides so we've got got the paired lows here and uh bumper boats so with the bumper boats i haven't bothered with the tracks and then the money's starting to come in so not at the moment but in previous months it's been fine and the ride the shop sales and the and the food and drink sales have been good as well so i've used some of that extra cash on a nice big wooden coaster so this one's called antwerp good excitement on that not bad what i've started doing i've started adding like an outro on the end of the video so what i'll do is at the end of the video i'll have a, a full playthrough of this of this coaster and then we've got a couple of impulse coasters just here so bruges decent excitement on these so shops just there so all the guests have to come past that and if i add any more coasters just over here i can link that up to this exit push a few more guests that way got a few top spins down there there's my funky bridge again so yeah we've got about 900 guests to go we're doing all right we're doing okay the only thing that might be a bit of a concern is the park entrance tickets is a little bit lower the last couple of months than what it has been um we've got the green arrow back so that's a good sign that means guests are starting to come back into the park um so it could be that um, now i've opened up a few extra rides that we should be fine but i might have to start putting down a few cheap and cheerful rides just to um just to help the guest numbers come back in and then once i've got some good cash then we can look at building some some better rides but um we're doing all right we've got plenty of time i'm not worried but um yeah we should be fine so i'm gonna crack on then put down some um some cheap and cheerful rides maybe some pre-builds and i'll see you in a bit it is september year four and we're just about to do the 3500 guest target that the scenario once we've got a couple of twisters here with a booster section great time in there and then we've got a couple of what are these the soapbox yeah soapbox derby what's the name of the twister there you go i'm gonna say it's mechelen and then this is probably my favorite name for a for a belgium town knock heist fantastic name so this one here um this is the well these this one and my uh and the virginia reels these are my oval design they're um on the tutorial section so they're basically the same 
same design the only difference is on the on the virginia reel you haven't got the s bend so just up here i've had to put the 90 degree bends whereas on here and on all the other coasters that i've got it to work with um there's about 16 in all is uh i've used the s bend but um good stats on it fairly cheap to build i think they were about maybe about four thousand each but um yeah the guests racing into the in through the gates and then just over here i have built one of these before on i think it was coaster crazy so this is a mobius twister i've um, got the launch section dueling top hats down and nice interaction with the with the corkscrew through the loop i'm gonna say it's tonai top hat twisters but again pronunciations may vary decent excitement huge cues on that and all the guests are coming out and going down the exit of the impulse coasters so getting some extra shop sales as well uh, money wise park entrance tickets not too bad bit of a blip last month but um shop sales so around four thousand and food and drink sales two thousand so that's an extra six thousand a month just from food drink shops that sort of thing so we're doing all right i mean we've done the target now we've got another year to go so i'm thinking the original park had a train around the lake i might um i might pop one of them in because we've we've done the target um as long as we don't have any dramas we should be fine so a nice train or some sort of transport ride around the lake would be pretty cool it is september year five and i was so engrossed in building this train well to be honest i didn't build the train at first i decided to go for the helicopters and um partly because i had a really cool name from i was going to call them belgi copters but then after i built it i realized then that they had really low capacity so i got rid of it um oh we haven't seen this one i've used this before so this one's i'm gonna say laven um so this is my crabulon coaster we built that before um yeah so i built built the the helicopter belgy copters then i got rid of it because you know it was it was rubbish and then i built the train and then after i built the train i noticed then the rating had absolutely tanked now normally not really much of a drama but we're only a month away from the end of the scenario and it's a five-year scenario fortunately worst case and worst case is that we end up failing and we can't rescue it in time and i have to go back to my previous save which is the end of year four so that's a good a good tip for you is to make sure that you you are saving especially on these longer scenarios and if if possible something i like to do as well is i like to change the name of my saves as well so that way if i need to roll it back to a previous save i can do so quite easily so yeah the rating has absolutely tanked within the last month or so so don't panic first thing to do is when you notice it just put it on pause give yourself a bit of a breather let's have a look then so guests thoughts too crowded here 500 let's have a look oh there you go instantly you can see so let's go over there right so i've added i've added some uh, a simple shuttle but clearly i've messed up the signs so i've i've played myself here i've tried to be i've tried to be clever and add, add all the paths linked up to force them all through the shops but i've messed up so let's hide the rides there you go yeah i've got which one is it it's um so it's this one here facing us is the wrong way um okay so let's delete that then we've got oh there you go 
right so let's add let's add the sign there stop them going up that side so that's I've put it the wrong way around the problem we've got now is that some of these guests are going to want to leave the park and I've only got a buffer of around 200 guests so if um, more than 200 of these guests that are now leaving leave the park then we're in danger of failing the scenario and we're gonna have to roll back the save unless we get a sudden influx of guests so yeah a lot of them are heading towards the exit and there's the warning now so that's a bit late what should happen is now we leave well now we're getting a lot of the guests leaving that means all the guests that were mad are leaving oh there you go instantly the rating shoots up so the park rating is fine that's that's good so that's over the targets back up now and the guest numbers oh there you go these are all <laughs> look at them all they're all following each other come on and do the conga all following each other so i think we're going to be okay then we can breathe a sigh of relief we can we've um we messed up but it wasn't such a big mistake that it cost us so that's good we've still got a buffer of about nearly 70 guests hopefully now what will happen is because there's only a set amount of guests that the game will push into a park depending on how good your park is um, because a lot of guests have left that will free up a lot of space in the park for the game to send more guests in and because it's such a short path from the edge of the map where they spawn to the gates it shouldn't take long for them to to come back in i've got the the tickets up to 50 pound um we did win an award for best value park so obviously that means where our park entry is is a bargain so i put it up give us an extra bit of money made a very good month last year ten thousand wow must be the extra rides that we dropped down yeah so here's the train <laughs> Um, so I've got four stations one two three and four apart from this little dip underneath the bridge it's all on one level and it's broken down oh well <laughs> okay so we should be fine now i think what i'll do is i'll drop down a few entertainers and um that should cheer some of the guests up and make sure that we've got a decent enough rating and then um, we'll pass the scenario and uh and crack on with the next one it is october year five the scenario wants three and a half thousand guests by october year five a rating of 600 so we've got more than the guest number and the rating it's up to 829 so as you can see last month we had a massive dip because we had that issue with the pardon uh caused by me putting a no entry sign down the wrong way so loads of guests about 200 guests got stuck on the exit for one of these loopers um verviers that's what i'm going to say anyway so if you live in any of these towns that I've named these coasters after, pop a comment down. And uh, yeah, but other than that, haven't had any issues at all. So when we came in, we got rid of the original pardon because we had some massive dramas with that when we played the first Six Flags. And to be honest, we've had issues with the pardon on every Six Flags park that we've played so far. So we got rid of that. Then. I built a little entrance plaza down there got the Q 
kiosks in front of the gate so that way every guest that comes through the gate has to stop at the kiosk and get themselves a park map and maybe an umbrella ATM as well so if they've paid to come in well they've obviously paid to come in and if they need some more money then they can use the ATM to get that little fountain just there and some some little shops and then what I did is then is I plonked down some flat rides just along here and some seating areas just to get the guests starting to come in and then after that then we focused on some more rides down here over here on the original Six Flags Park was the the River Rapids so all we had then was the basically the hole in the ground um, so I used that then to put a go-kart track down so there was a this length here was long enough to put the station at maximum length um, decent excitement there and um, so Eau Rouge for those that don't know Eau Rouge is one of the most famous corners on any racing track in the world it's uh, a very fast bend on the Spa Francochamps racetrack in Belgium and then we've got a lot of cheap and cheerful coasters here when the guests come off the ride they all come down and they have to pass through these shops here so that's a good way of helping boost the shop sales so this month now we've got over 2,000 shop sales and over 2,000 in food and drink it has been higher to be honest we have been getting four maybe five thousand for shop sales and two to three thousand on food and drink sales so it's a really good way of boosting boosting the shop sales on parks where you have to pay to come in and then little 10 by 10 river rapids ride i built previously i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna say it's waver could be wrong could be anything i don't know but um splash boats as well got a mobius log flume just up here built around so over here then we've gone with some funky paths nice big wooden coaster just along here good stats on that blew a load of cash on this i'll do a, a full playthrough of that at the end of the video a couple of impulse coasters some top spins my dueling top hats twister i'll have to do a, a tutorial on this one at some point because it's uh it's such a cool ride and it's, it's it's quite easy to build to be honest once once you know what to do it is it's fairly straightforward funky bridge and then a few extra rides that I, that I built a couple of twisters and then these two rides then that's as part of my oval design on the tutorial section so they're both the same design and you can use that with a load of different coasters there you go 26th of october and then we built a railway just around the outside and then it was whilst i was doing this that's when i had the issue with the with the paths because i was I was miles away you know i was i was so engrossed with doing the train that i completely didn't see the rating until it was almost too late the rating was was tanked right down um with only a month to go but fortunately when we fixed it only around 100 gets left and the rating shot back up and then we've got a nice looping coaster a nice launch coaster just down here What's going on here? They seem to be getting stuck. No. Or just does it just Let's look at his map? Ah oh, you go, he's found his way. You'll get there eventually. And we've done it. Stu. Fantastic. That's quite a high rating. High, quite a high value. What was the rating at the end? So in the end, we did it with 200 guests to spare. A rating 781. Yeah, not as high as I'd like, but um, once you get once you get this many guests in a park, it is quite tricky to keep the rating high because they're always complaining about it being 
overcrowded. But um, yeah, other than that, it was okay. It was um, I'm. I prefer the parks where you are charging for the rides as opposed to charging for entry, and I know that's not what you normally get in real life. But the problem you've got with these parks is that once you've char once the guest has paid to come in, it's hard to get the money off them. That's why you have to I have to do these things with the shops, get them all to walk past the shops that way just to get the extra money off them. Whereas in a in a park where you pay for the rides, you can build loads and loads of big and cool coasters because you know you're gonna get the money back in these parks. You're never gonna get the huge money back, you're never gonna get the money back from them. So this wooden coaster here. That probably cost me around fifteen to twenty thousand. Um, now, I'm not going to get it. That's not going to pay for itself in a park like this. But in a park where you're paying for the rides, it should do. You know, it it should pay for itself. Um, but even if it doesn't, coasters like this will more than than uh, pay for it. So, anyway, this was build your own. Six Flags Belgium. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.